anticipation of his huge no holds barred match against Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe has a warm up match tonight against the Battle Club's Carl Anderson. Is Anderson going to pull off the upset tonight and halt Joe's momentum heading into his match? against the former Metal Commissioner Kevin Owens. Hello everyone and welcome to Metal. You heard it right. On our next episode of Metal, it's going to be a no holes barred match between Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens. But that is next time. Tonight, we have a packed show for you, including Joe going one-on-one -on -one with Carl Anderson and the debut of the Bruiserweight. Certainly one of the most anticipated debuts in a long time. And X Park gonna be the opponent of the man from Birmingham, England, who has set the wrestling world on fire. He will fight to the bitter end. And there you see our first look here on Metal of the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Dunne has competed all over the world and we are very glad to have signed him to a contract here on Metal. And live tonight, he makes his in-ring debut in front of this unique setting. The last pick fed episode of Metal before Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe face off. I can confirm for you folks that will be stop motion, but in the meantime, enjoy the debut of the Bruiserweight. And they lock up. Although Dunn is a veteran in his own right, considering his age, X Park has been to the dance many times before, as you saw with the thumb to the eye. And picks him up, but Dunn goes behind. Backslide, and a kick out. Leapfrogs him, off the ropes, and there's the Lariat from Dunn and now has the legs held and stomps on them. He's a well-versed submission wrestler as well as Pete Dunn. As he goes to the top, flips over, runs off the ropes and a huge leaping clothesline from X-Park. I spoke with X-Park earlier today. He said that Pete Dunn is just another flavor of the month and he is gonna take him out here tonight on Metal. There you see the leg drop from X-Park, who has given Pete Dunne a run for his money. You know, I have to admit, didn't expect this from X-Park early on, but there's a chop from Pete Dunne, who tries to fire back. After Rosen, there's a spin kick. The martial arts expertise of X-Park going for the suplex. What an X-Plex from Pete Dunne. Wipes out X-Park, and now Dunne, with the momentum back on his side, he's hoping. And now Dunne. Fires up with a series of shots directed towards X Park. Whipped off the corner and floats over, and there's an insecurity that boot connecting to the side of the skull of X Park. And you heard the impact as Dunn has him held. He goes behind, standing switch on his feet though, and delivers the boot to the side of the skull and now the sit out power bar from Pete Dunne and it's very wise you saw the way he hooked that leg so the X-Pot couldn't move but only a two count for now Pete Dunne waiting but maybe waited too soon because X-Pot was there with a spinning heel kick and now he's in the corner Setting up for the Bronco Buster, his x but moves out of the way, does Dunn. Another triangle choke, and breaks his fingers. Here it is now, the bitter end. And Pete Dunn picks up the victory here in his debut match. A good outing for Pete Dunn here in his debut obliterating X-Park within a matter of minutes. There were some ropey occasions for Dunn, but he soon found his feet as we take a look at the replay, the ending of this match. The Bronco Buster did not connect, and then Pete Dunn rolling through to break the fingers and then deliver this. It was the bitter end for X-Park as Pete Dunn picks up the victory here in his match 
his first on metal. And X Park still picking out teeth, still trying to put his fingers back into place. But the story here is that Pete Dunne has won his debut here tonight on metal. But my question is who is next for him? Who will be next to step up and challenge the Bruiserweight? Well, there you have it. Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight, successful in his debut against X Park here tonight. We'll take you back to the ring momentarily for our main event tonight. But we have to talk about next week and the huge no holds barred match between Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. This was originally scheduled to take place at WrestleMania. However, you're going to see it live on Metal. No holds barred. Anything goes. Owens versus Joe. And you have to believe Kevin Owens is somewhere watching this upcoming matchup as Samoa Joe prepares to take on the machine gun, Carl Anderson. Well, Joe and Owens is a match that I wish we could have had at WrestleMania, unfortunately. I've had to postpone it. But when those two titans finally collide next week, it is going to be insane. However, Samoa Joe first must get through the Balor Club, namely Carl Anderson. Finn Balor not here tonight for personal reasons, but Gallows and Anderson are here to wave the flag of the Balor Club loud and proud. I can tell you that this Balor Club is not for everyone. If you step in their way, they will take you out. And Carl Anderson wants to take out Samoa Joe here tonight. As we await the arrival of the Destroyer. As the Samoan submission machine prepares to make his way to battle. And here he comes, folks. Samoa Joe, the inaugural metalweight champion, and the man who on our next episode is going to face Kevin Owens in that no holds barred grudge match. In fact, the last time we saw Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens put Joe through a plate glass window. So you have to believe that he's still feeling the effects of that, plus other assaults at the hands of Kevin Owens. But now, Carl Anderson waiting, not waiting for the bell, but goes right after Joe with a jawbreaker. And now goes after Joe with a punch, but a back elbow from Samoa Joe picks him up. Power bomb. And that may have just served to piss off the Samoa submission machine, who has the Boston Crab in, and now the STF applied to Carl Anderson here in the great outdoors for this unique setting for Metal we will be back in the arena once again on our next episode of Metal where you will see the No Osbog grudge bout between oh my god Joe and Owens but Owens not here tonight instead Carl Anderson the one taking the fight to Samoa Joe choking him out there now stomping on the spine. Picked up again. And the heel kick from Carl Anderson. We are just about ready to hit sunset here tonight. As the sun sets on this match between Joe and Anderson. Machine gun looking for the boot of doom. But the power slam from Joe. And in for the cover and a kick out by Carl Anderson. And now on the outside, Luke Gallows trying to will his man back into it. But the boot thrust in the final one did not connect as Carl Anderson once again with some clubbing blows. And on the shoulders for the TKO. And the machine gun is a very experienced grappler. Has a lengthy history in Japan. And now bringing the fight to Joe. But Joe with their headbutt now going. For the muscle buster, but instead the Hoshigaroshi from Carl Anderson as Luke Gallows watches on. And a big time knee from Carl Anderson, who now on the top goes for the crossbody, but instead Joe is there 
to catch him for the power slam. He may be having some technical difficulties here. I know that Carl Anderson's having some difficulties with that atomic drop. And there's that big boot. And the senton in for the cover. The kick out by Carl Anderson. As we said, the sun's setting here on this match. That is why the colour may be a bit off. But I can tell you, Joey's not missed a step. He is not off whatsoever. He went for the clutch, but a roll through, the victory roll and a kick out. And there's the boot of doom from Carl Anderson to Samoa Joe and picks him up with a power powerbomb. Lifting that nearly 300 pounder up in the air. Amazing core strength from Carl Anderson, who looks to run out to Samoa Joe, but Joe back drops into the outside. The sun goes down. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows about to go down with a tope suicida from Carl. I should say from Samoa Joe, it was Carl Anderson who got wiped out along with Luke Gallows. The good brothers not having a good time tonight. Samoa Joe going in for the kill. Big time Western Lariat. And Carl Anderson about to get muscle busted. No. Sunset flip and a kick out from Samoa Joe. They're both back on their feet, but there's a spine buster from Anderson. On the top now. But look out! Samoa Joe there and catches him with the coquito clutch. And Carl Anderson has to tap out. What a counter from the submission machine. Anderson. Went for the neck breaker off the top. But Joe spanned him around and caught him in that clutch. Once you're in it, there's very little room to escape. And next week, Kevin Owens is going to find that out firsthand. Well, we'll take a look at the replay of this match. Joe with a tope suicida. Then, it was this spine buster that Anderson used to get back into the contest. But finally, when he came down from that top rope, there's a reason... They call it high risk and Anderson found that out and he got hit with the Kokita clutch and he was choked out by Samoa Joe. Now the question remains, is that same fate going to befall Kevin Owens next week? It will be no holes barred. The match that was scheduled to take place at WrestleMania now will take place next week. Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe, the grudge match live next week. Don't miss it here on Metal.